All right. Here we go. Starting the clap now. One, two, dry, three, dry, four, fear, five, five. Brit Fuck is a little Brit, off. you asshole. <laughs> I thought you were going to do a different language I did again. A different language. I did English this time. <laughs> uh, Brit, was, Brit was a bit behind. I was there. Lions. Like, here's the thing. My internet I... hit a lag spike the moment you said one, and I was like, oh, no. Oh okay. Yeah, oh, I, I I can I can adjust. It'll okay. be fine. Okay. In fact, I think I may have skipped one yeah, altogether and just jumped straight to two. <sighs> okay. It's like some kind of Chinese riddle. Yeah. Um <laughs> It sounds so weird when we do it all together. I'm so used to separately. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, we gotta we gotta squeeze every dollar out of every single minute we can. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. My internet isn't gonna. Because we were making a dollar a minute, we wouldn't need to live at home. Yeah. Dollar a but minute, you say. Oh man, I shouldn't have taped this avatar to my face. I just grabbed all the money that I have saved and just like wave it in front of the camera. <laughs> I can like see like I those like Guinness right. World Record people who put the sticky notes on their face. Right now, hold on. Um, the call is very laggy for me. In fact, I might try and leave and join back again. <laughs> um, I'm. Have a huge wad of cash. There we go. Oh, all the money. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, All gotta right. make raking those floof dollars. Am I right? <laughs> oh, it, it, are, are we, are Hi, we going to... and I welcome assume? back to uh, five <laughs> stupid people watching a show. Five guys in a YouTube yeah. video. <laughs> uh, we we are all standing behind a couch, and the YouTube video is on the couch. <laughs> yes. Uh, judging by it's... all your wonderful comments from the last reaction video, uh, you I could tell you all really liked my uh. My little experiment that I did last time. So, for, for your benefit, I was going to do it again this week. Um, except uh, we we kind of broke it. Oh, what a shame. We kind of broke it, yeah. It was a... Uh, well, what are we going to do The now? world has lost a true... Yeah, well, there, there's a lot of science hero. you talk behind it. It's oh, all hard gosh. to explain. Dom could explain it better than I, I, I Oh, I mean... Oh, shit, I, wait, there he is. Hang on. Dom, 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 hold on, hold on. I mean, honestly, the same thing could have been accomplished with just putting a stick up your nose, but yeah, I mean... Yeah, pretty much. And then, listen, um, in England. could you get in front of the camera and explain what exactly true. went wrong with the thing? You, you know how to do it. You've done it fun. You can do it fine yourself. Yeah, but, you know, it's smart when you say it. No. No, I don't want to. Not only, baby, you've been on camera before. Yeah, for you. I don't even know these wankers. It's fine. Wendell's British. You'll get them all day. Really? Really? A fucking limey. That's the camera you're dangling in front of me this week. Oh, would you fucking get over it already? Oh, yeah, get over the oppression of my people. Yeah, I'll get right the fuck on that, you twat. Just get it. <clears throat> Look. Just get on. Explain a bit. And get off. Fine, fine, Christ almighty. <clears throat> yes, hi, hello, what do you want? Oh, hello, Dom! Um, we, yes, D Dom, <laughs> his name is Dom. <laughs> yes. We, we didn't, we oh, didn't wait, wait, you. is this Don or know. Dom? Dom, <laughs> D-O-M. Do you know if Ron is in? Oh, I want to speak Dom. to Ron. Who's Ron? We don't, we don't know. The Australian and anyone first else. Right. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Right. Well, so basically, what happened was uh, yes. Warping. Fill us in. Yeah, Ron, fill us in on, on what the the miraculous science. So that Warping went wrong the human mind is not an easy process. Uh, you know, I mean, you could just smash a fucker's head against a rock, but then you're liable. Uh -huh. So what we did was we ordered some technology to send an electric current straight into the frontal lobe so that we affect our personality and behavior issues, but leave the temporal lobe alone so we don't affect his memory at all. That way, he can be as much an idiot as he wants, but he'll still remember everything. Now, the problem was, we designed it so that it was supposed to do once every 24 hours. Unfortunately, Dickless over here decided to spam it an hour and a half after the initial time, thus shorten out the entire thing, and I don't know when I'm gonna get to another part. Ah, uh, ain't that a pickle. Yeah. Tom yeah. ruins Tom everything, Tom. doesn't I, I hear Tom. The, Yeah, try I hear living the with him. Quite a good you should do the entire reaction for yes, the rest of the season. Yeah, fuck that. Just I'm out. And there, I did your bit Tom already. can go out. Leave me we'll the fuck alone. Dawn. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh, then actually, you know what? Why don't you? Uh, why don't Did you, you say Ben? ben? <laughs> I'm, I'm no. losing. I'm losing I'm not, track. Not, the deep lore is too much for me to handle. Oh well, in that case, fuck no. Yes. Oh, come on, don't yes. Be like that. Look. This is we the deepest lore. Well, well, I mean, we need something enough. for when they I'm inevitably we'll make a wiki. Yeah, that's true. I mean, when we before. get like a fandom wiki. We're gonna do work with the girl next door. She won't even look at me now because of what you did. Oh, I didn't know she was gonna be walking what? by the bathroom window <laughs> at that moment. Why did you have your fucking blinds up in the first place, you daft idiot? <laughs> no. no, no, Tom, no, Dom, make love, not I war. Should, you just stress ah, me. I ship Dawn and Tom. All right, all right, all right. One episode, that's it. Never again, you understand? Oh, thank you so much. You owe me. I owe you so much. Have fun, have fun. John! <laughs> His name is Dom, you daft British bastard! <laughs> Also, my mic game yeah, is that was, that was quite loud. I am being forced to do this against my will. Wait, who, who, who is this Oh, please, right now? Dom. We all know you don't have any free who, who will. Is this? It's, it's Dom. It's me again. Oh, it's Tom. It's Bob. Dom. Dom. Okay, okay. Just need to... Dom, yes. okay. You guys, I mean, whew, you sound very alike. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, ironically then, speaking, yeah. with that name, yeah. he's not actually the top in the relationship. Also, I'm very sorry to Ireland. <laughs> Just all of it. Anyway. Yes. Oh, 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 apology accepted. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, do we everyone. Have to change, do we have to welcome the back. Now, because we're not Furbert with with Dawn. <laughs> it needs a, like the T needs to be taken out and replaced. We're frostbite to a D. We wait our time. All right. Yes. Yes. Welcome back to to Ruby Volume Six Episode Five. Coming soon. With special guest Dom. Dom, yeah. it's great to have you. And yeah. I got a cat uh, this time. Hey. hey, and now we got, we got Which, the and, and extra special guest, Floof, the real yes. in the flesh Floof. The in the Floof. Of, of saving real fat man's here. ass. Pretty much. <laughs> yes. Last episode in Ruby, uh, not much happened. It all kind of set up. Hopefully more shit happens in this one. It's 14 minutes long. Let's hope it's good. Yeah. Coming soon. Who's gonna fuck? <laughs> all right. Three, two, one, go. <sighs> so the only thing I know about this show is that all four girls are fucking each other. Yes. Well, you're more informed than the hey. rest of us. Yep. Uh, okay. But that said, um, what is it? The the <laughs> we're spending some time. So they on are the farm. at Brunswick Farm, which apparently is the the staging ground for the headless horseman. Ah. in mythology. Oh, that's mm. cool. Interesting. Um, all right, but all the same. Wait, is Roman going to come back as a Grim? Is that what the tendril yeah. hands are? Ooh, that's that a cool. good I, theory. Yeah, I, I don't know. An interesting one. Cool. I... Because if it's Brunswick Farm, the idea that, okay, maybe Tortric changed his name when he left. Yeah. But if it's hinting that Roman is coming back, or some facet of him is coming back, like Neo... I, um... I'm 90% certain that Neo's coming back. And if they're gonna do it... Uh, yeah, like that... <laughs> what is that hat yeah. in the intro? Just a, like a I, red herring? I would hate them if they did that. But look, I'm 90% certain it's either gonna be soon, or maybe even this episode... Like, we're going to see Neo pretty soon. If at all. Again, they might just be total dicks. It I didn't be the know first Keanu time. Reeves was in this yeah. show. Coming coming soon is just, uh, like, <laughs> the audience. They're going to be coming soon when Neo shows yeah. back up. And all Damn the it. delicious things they show Neo going today, I'm going to fail no not November. My superpowers that have allowed me to predict <laughs> the future of Ruby will be <laughs> lost. God damn it. Wait, oh. if you get... If you can predict the future of Ruby, then can you predict that Neo is going to be in this episode? You know, I'll make a f I'll make a bet that she is. Sure. Oh, Thunder. Oh. oh, we're back on this scene. Of course. Do you, do, darling? Lil Miss always delivers. Oh. I promise you'll be pleased. Word uh, is okay. they've seen. Well, that isn't exactly far from here. A few weeks back. A few weeks. 
be going straight to Atlas. Yeah, thanks. Interesting customer. <clears throat> Why are these captions ahead? It's not often. They, they, they always are. Brings me mm. double the business. That seems like bad design. It, yeah, it is. It, it totally spoils all the upcoming twists. That's why I don't really like them. I, just... I was right! Oh. Hey, it could just be somebody who stole Oh, she looks style. so good in HD, bro. She looks so good in the new art style. So I take it this girl's important yes! then. Yes! I can't even, I can't Wait, even see the green I was so fucking right. Yes! Oh, yeah. she's so cool. Uh, this is so oh, this good! I'm genuinely happy. Hey. <laughs> I, I just uh. wanted to kick the shit out of Cinder, please. Even with the maiden powers. It's rare, yeah. it, it's, uh, but she's acting aggressive. We don't normally see Wait, that from Neo. Did she just- So how, what um, the fuck is Neo to be this good? <laughs> Neo's a ninja. What? Well, I will what? say the animation- This is going badass! On. I love it. This is fucking amazing! <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's well, shit because it's a di- the... But guys, it's rubbish, it's a diner scene. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Oh sure, that pistol's gonna do much. So this really was so that really is Neo from the Matrix then, given how that fight turned out. <laughs> 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 so <am I>. mm. <laughs> oh, she has his hat. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, God, she must have had that thing horribly dry cleaned. Misplaced blame, girl. I didn't kill your boss. If little red. <laughs> I am so happy. <laughs> <laughs> this is. <laughs> oh no! Apparently she is <laughs> because of you didn't do shit about it. <laughs> You're really bad at wanting her dead. I saw Volume Five. Shut up, Cinder. Why can she stab? Stab, stab her. Stab her. Just it's wind. Stab her. I think she's seeing like. Stab her. Why can this woman fly? Magic. Oh. Literally magic. She can hover. No one else <laughs> can hover. Okay, uh, that was cute. cute. Oh, but I don't I'm want so Neo to be the back. fucking sidekick of Cinder now. Uh, yeah, that's that's true. I don't oh. want it to be like a sidekick. If anything, I want like some backstabbing to be going on. But I'm I'm hoping this is a long yeah, con the on long her con. part. I'm so happy that she has his hat. This place looks fine. Another house scene again. Oh my god. <laughs> god, we go straight from a cafe See, to a house. This is what I never understood about anime. Like, it's probably below, like, negative degree temperature. Hypothermia is likely a thing. And How did that not break the glass? <laughs> I have a stick! Yes. <laughs> Nobody nope, move! I'm not getting out of this chair. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's the bitch from Star Wars. She's not even inside <laughs> saying close the door uh, maybe, already? Maybe that's God how blind damn. Well, she, yeah, is she, she is blind. She is blind. Maybe we could get a fire going? Please, I'll look for some blades. Thanks, Blake. Try looking for some coats there, honey. Y Yang, just pop your semblance. Just, just, just yeah. the first. I think the yeah. heat yeah. was really more of a... On fire, right? I think the heat was more we'll take a, a study. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Backstory. Cool. Ooh, hey, it's photographs. a clock. Hang on. So Wait, happy. backstory? There's a ginger really? one. I'm fucking Impossible. counting it. Yes, there's a ginger one. Did he have a family? <laughs> oh my god, that'd be amazing. Right. Let's look for something. Something doesn't feel right. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> they're they're holding on this picture for a bit too help. long there. Oh shh. Whoa. Whoa. Hello. Holy shit! 
This okay. is what I did in volume two! Whoa. This is my fix in volume two! <laughs> yes! Uh, Corpses! Why is, this, why is this scared of seeing dead bodies? What the fuck is well, I mean, wrong with her? Didn't she like aren't they, just, aren't they trying to like four? kill people or something? Yes, they are. So why is this a surprise to them? What, are, what, what do you mean like seeing a dead corpse just Man, lying dead. in bed? <laughs> Man, it's dead cold out there. <laughs> The plague. It's like the whole estate just went to sleep and never woke up. Ooh, this is interesting. Didn't I say Whoa. that? This is interesting. Th that children, I didn't want this to be Walking Dead season two. <laughs> I, I said that in a stream yesterday. No, it, I know yeah, I did. You did. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm thinking it's going. This is going to be a Wendigo. I'm guessing this is going to be a Wendigo. That's a good call. Especially with a Native American themed character here. Oh, a Wendigo. A I mean, Wendigo she, crossed she has, with the headless horseman. That'd be badass. In a car. I'll do another sweep of the grounds. <laughs> it's weird to hear them say it's. Oh yeah, a car. <laughs> Wait, so they could have just like, oh yeah, we could just get a car at any time. Could have driven the Mistral, asshole. <laughs> let's go to let's go to fucking Hertz rent a car. <laughs> oh, oh, are, are we getting? Fuck. Are we going to get the Yang and Blake discussion scene? Where's Ruby going? And then. Keep the door yeah, shut. Well, I, I think they're, I think they're like, let's split up, gang. Because <gasps> that always works in Scooby Doo. Always makes me feel better. Right. Right. Weiss, you know what your job description would entail if you ever graduated this school, right? And how, far how old are they again? Um. Aren't she's like blind? Oh, I, I, I know she's not technically blind she's... anymore. I hope. Oh, she is she's blind, being, but she's, she's not. Well, well I mean, everybody's a, everybody's a little yeah. kid too. You know, a mm. eighty-year-old woman, seventy-year-old woman, sixty-nine-year-old right. woman. Giggity giggity. All right, now that we're alone. My grandmother just sent us the bed and a cup of whiskey come off. and a kick in the ass. Oh, hey, tractor! Yes, tractor escape. <laughs> <laughs> Just you wait, that tractor is gonna play a massive part next episode. That was like the best part <laughs> in um in Bully Chekhov's tractor. In Bully where uh you get in a, hi a high speed chase with police while riding a lawnmower. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> they all got cholera. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. I mean, no. I'm just tired. Yeah. I have frostbite on my exposed midriff. <laughs> oh my god, they're being killed slowly by You're like Team the Frostbite. One... Why can't they close the coat up? Like, you don't need to have it open, just close it up. Ho! Oh. So, yeah. See, Yang is hallucinating Adam in his old clothes. Blake is actually seeing Adam in his new clothes. Well, I, I think it's both assumed that they're both a little traumatized. Yes! Yes! I mean, I hit him over the head yes. and he ran off, so I don't know. <laughs> so I don't know, Yang, you're kind of like a little bitch. <laughs> Who knew it? All he needed was just a donkey punch to the back of the head and I knocked him out. <laughs> well, that Vatten so what is we very... What we're seeing is we need to get chaos on board. Vatten is very deadly sword skills, but, you know, power through control, mostly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh fuck off, Blake. If Watch this Blake works, off again. I'm, I'm just, I, I'm just no. Oh. Stop, yeah, there. Okay. Good. What? Okay. Wait. Wait. Yes. Yes. We can hook that flap it up to Bumblebee. Yes. Is Bumblebee so, finally dead? So they're not scissoring then. No. <laughs> I I am liking this, and coming ah, soon they're like doing all the textures. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, that's some fucking Harry. She's that's fucking some Harry, that's some Harry Potter shit right there. Here. Oh shit! You lit the bar on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Sure, how 
while my uncle's taking all of this. <laughs> Come on. I'll never get to Atlas on an empty stomach. Mm, well, it depends on how far away it is. So do you think it's a Grim that, like, is a s slow depression squeeze? <laughs> that would, I mean, that would make, like, evolutionary sense for a Grim, right? Because that's what everything that Ozpin has told us. You heard what Jim said. If there's no way to kill Salem, then... That's bullshit. There's no way to destroy that's Salem. Mm. That's a fairly serious question. <laughs> I'm really tired and I really the yeah. guy who's been lying to us the entire time said this so. This is actually... I can't think of a it, reason so not to keep listening to If this is some, if there's some surreptitious thing going on, then I'm guessing... They're bringing up tired quite a lot, like everyone's very tired. Now, granted, they've been yeah. walking for a long time, but I'm wondering if they're laying hints for, like, a passive... What's it? Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't dead open inside. <laughs> what? What? He eating beans. What were you fucking expecting? Yes, Lord, beans. Turkey, but, turkey on the table. <clears throat> Duh. How could you be mad? I swear, if this does just become the season two of Walking Dead, I'm going to like... Yeah, yeah. Sure All right, is the chain gonna bump? Yeah. Low banging. It's Blake and Yay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was impressed. I enjoyed they, it. they. Ha well, yeah, that was. I'm I have no idea what's going on. My girl, Neil. Bl that Blake and Yang are, are not fucking. Uh, not okay. They're not okay <laughs> right out the bat. I mean, Blake fucked up. That's great. Um. <laughs> Uh, they're they're doing a nice slow burn of whatever the hell is going on at this farm. I'm really hoping that turns out to be tor to, to be torture. I hope that yeah, because oh. like as much as much as it would be fine if it was just Neo carrying on the legacy. You got to admit, Torchwick was the greatest villain in this damn show. He was just too entertaining. So any excuse to bring him yeah. back, I would just jump on. And like, oh my god, that Neo oh. fight. Maybe. Ha, that's ha, ha, a neophyte. See, like that's what that's what I always thought the ruby should have been, right? Dinosaurs. You know, um, you know, there, there's no yes, to, oh, <laughs> yes, yeah. But that's that, that's my time, folks. Hey, no, no, no. The joke with that, you just keep going. <laughs> uh, no, it, it, it's uh... <laughs> so. Why is the why is Umbrella Girl important? All right, now that I actually watched the episode. She, because the fans like her for, for because she doesn't talk. She was also, uh, like, what the most... She, do? she was the she, most effective combatant in the show and only showed up, like, four or five times. She kicked the shit out of some of the main characters, <laughs> looked stylish as hell while doing it. Uh, but does she actually <laughs> matter to anything? She, um, she, she has... She uh, matters she on has, a personal level, best, but, she has like, the best very minimally. dialogue in the show. Let me... Let me, let me let me rephrase that question there. As far as the story is concerned, does she matter? <laughs> does she no. matter? She not is even a little. Who cares? Okay. But now she in might. In the grand scheme of things, probably not. In the, like, I'm trying to think. The fact that she's now been reintroduced, now it does matter because Neo can, like, change her, like, form. She's like an illusion, right? Or something like that. Espionage is now a fucking option. And it gives us more mm. things, more like stuff for Cinder to actually be characterized by just by hanging out with Neo. So she can like kill someone and impersonate I, him? I don't know, but I think so. Maybe. It, like, the whole thing is that Neo's mysterious, and that's an element of weirdness mm. and surprise. Next, like, what could legitimately happen is they finally find up with Ruby, and the first thing that Neo d does is stab fucking Cinder for no reason other than just he doesn't like her. <laughs> and I just like that idea. I don't know. I still I still want her to yeah. like shish kebab Ruby. <laughs> yeah, see, like, there's no earthly reason for that fight to I'm have happened. It did. But it did, and it yeah. was cool. Like, that's, that's what oh. Ruby should have been all the time. It's like, nobody gives a shit about the story. The story isn't good. It doesn't make any sense. It, it was, it was like, 
you know, you got this vehicle for Monty to make cool fights. Oh. And so now the they're doing for, that for me, only like it, three years too late. If I were to have done it from the from the ground up, instead of trying to fix what it is currently into You all you yeah. you already have three videos about or four videos about that. Don't try to No 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 no, 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 no. double back on no, it no, now. You're, you're, I, I've, I've always distinguished between fixing Ruby and making Ruby from scratch. Fixing Ruby is taking what they're presenting to us now and trying to make it work. If I were to have done Ruby from scratch, if I were to have built it up from the bottom up, I would have made it just an entire show about personal relationships where it's all basically people just breaking into fights because of personal vendettas. That's all it would have to be. It's basically just a show about people with personal vendettas out to kick each other's asses and then kicking each other's asses. That's it. Simple enough. And it would be an ep sort of episodic in that regard. It would have maybe a light overarching plot, but it wouldn't have anything super in-depth. So I'm just looking at this picture and like... Um... So here's something that I really like. And this is just... I've been looking back on the Neo fight because I was thinking about it, but I wasn't quite sure. It makes really... like They actually put some thought into how this fight would happen. Because I'm going scene by scene and I notice, okay, so why doesn't Cinder just go 0 to 100 real quick and just like, okay, I'm a maiden. Like, you know, when as soon as they got outside when no one was around, she was like, look, I am much more stronger than you now. Uh, so don't fuck with me and let's work together. But she didn't do that. I don't know that. I don't think that. I don't think that girl took a single hit that entire fight. I think she could have held her. Well, uh, uh, Neo, sh 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 yeah, for a yeah, the little pink Point one. Being, I, no, I think she did. She take didn't. A hit. She did take a she hit. She didn't think. use her power inside of the place because then little Miss Muffet, who's trying to like manipulate them apparently or something like that, would have seen that Cinder is actually super powerful. Like she's trying to hide the fact that she's now a maiden and stuff, which is interesting. You know, she didn't go 0 to 100, and it actually, it makes logical sense why she didn't, and it also allowed for this cool fight. It's just sort of two things that work in tandem pretty nicely. Well, it, also with that, like, there's there's nice touches in animation there, like, like just little things you wouldn't really think about on your first time through that I didn't notice on my first time through. is when Neo starts the fight, she beats Cinder back until she hits Little Miss's table. And when Cinder hits Little Miss's table, she kicks it. And I didn't realize this, but Little Miss catches the her, her, her cigarette tray, yes, like her yeah. cigarette tray. And it's like, and like, like those little, like those little touches are what makes it good. I also I didn't realize if you paid attention, it wasn't that Cinder was being back straight vertical because if you notice, her positioning was she was kind of offset from the table. But if you notice when she's actually being fought by Neo, mm -hmm. she's being pushed back diagonally as well. Like they actually, they actually had peop the characters placed and physically plotted out where they're going to yeah. go. Like they, and they, it's not no longer do we have the volume five situation where the fights haven't actually like they don't actually plot down where the fights are taking place in the actual scene. They and actually they not storyboard know. their fights. Uh, last nope. season, last volume, <laughs> no. No, they, they didn't. No, no. Uh, I know that part two of the Volume 5 review isn't out yet, but they didn't storyboard the fights. They had a, a, a like, an Excel spreadsheet How does of what the fights were supposed seasons? to look like. I love the fucking <laughs> shot. It's at 4-7 to 4-12, where it's like, ha, I found you, and it's just the slow reveal to Neo wearing Torchwick's hat. And, oh, God, that's so yeah. fucking cool. Like it is, it is so oh, well so done. Fucking I will power. Applause them for that. This um, was good I have shit. to say, this does kind of fuck with my plans for for fixing volume four, but I might be able to work with it depending where they take it this this volume. Mm. Hopefully, hopefully I can I can I can tweak that because I I really like my ideas for volume four, five, and possibly six. Mm. Um. Because six so far has been just about where I needed to be. Like, 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 volume six so far has just been like about the same quality I aim for with the fixing series. Though, admittedly, the 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 Salem backstory isn't quite as interesting. It's at least the bare minimum acceptable for my level of detail. Um, so I will never, ever ever understand why people are so amazed by hovering i mean I, <laughs> someone hovers yeah, in real life i'd be like ah i mean she was only like yeah two but feet if somebody made a glass wall <laughs> that shattered into fucking 
potatoes and I, shit. I literally you, you, crash you into the like, ground, whatever, turn into okay. glass, and dissipate. You are floating two feet off the ground with an easy stabbing range. I, it might be the wind vortex is also Maybe kind it's, of it's impressive. It's more of a, like, a, like, as well as what she's saying as well, just the force of, oi, fucking stop it. I'm, I'm out of your league right also, now. Also, my back. eye is on fire. <laughs> I've been holding back. Which raises a question. Does her left eye also glow? And if so, why don't we see it peeking through her, uh, her, her fringe? I don't know, animation error probably. Does she have an eye? It didn't look like she had an eye. I, I, I can't remember if she got blown. I, I, she, her eye got blown out, didn't it? She does, I don't think she has one. Right. Uh, but that's it. I, I, yeah, I am just, I, I don't. Remember, it's the wrong eye that, that, that she lost. Right, right. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe what, what happened is that the force of the silver eyes actually pushed her hair into her eye so sharply it popped it out. <laughs> Uh, but oh. that said, I, I I don't know how I feel about her becoming Cinder's henchman because I I like I I like Neo on this revenge spree, and so I am genuinely hoping for a a a turnabout twist. A, a, a I'm hoping for a twist, twist of fortune. I like the idea that we can characterize Salem a little more, like at the end when um okay let's talk, and then it's just a little point to the mouth. It's like oh yeah. Oh, like more, more ways. So she to, is mute. More, more yeah, ways we, to actually we actually Cinder. finally have flat confirmation she's mute. Yeah. Hmm. Um, but that said, I'm looking at this. I, I mean, know, Brunswick Farms. I, I'm I'm very biased, of yeah, course. The layout, been, the layout ever since the end nice. of season three and the beginning of season four, you can go back. I've wanted Neo to be a a relevant thing for a long time, so I'm just super excited. Wait, what season is this? <laughs> this is season By, six. 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 This girl's been missing for over two years, and people are still wanting well, her around. Two seasons. It's been six to eight months, roughly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, roughly. I was talking in production, oh, in production terms, terms, but sure, we'll go with we'll go with that. I suppose. Oh, I, thought, I thought you were referring to like in <laughs> canon, but yeah, she's she's been out the show for a while. Mm. Two years, by the sounds of it. Yeah. So okay, what if Tortric left before the calamity befell his farm? Or do you, okay, taking the if this is Torchwick, let's assume that this guy is Torchwick. He keeps saying this guy because like, he looks exactly I, he looks just like Torchwick, and the idea of a, a country bumpkin growing up to become a massive crime lord kind of rings true to my ear about him. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, like, is there something we you, you need to tell us, Raymond? What? <laughs> is there a reference no, I'm missing? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what? A, 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 a ginger country bumpkin growing up to be a crime lord. Is is this an aspirational <laughs> this for story you? for you? What makes you think of a fucking bumpkin? <laughs> I live in one of the most metropolized cities on the planet. Yeah, but it's still in Ohio. Touche, motherfucker. Touche. <laughs> Yeah, um, but I said <laughs> you you can smell Kentucky from your from where you are, <laughs> dude. I I can breathe Kentucky from where I am. Um, slightly yeah. different from smell, but I uh, know. Uh, uh, so if we're assuming this is Tortwick, is that his wife? Yeah, I was like, okay, so he might have had a family here. Did he leave because he was an asshole and abandoned, or maybe he moved with his family, and wanted to be somewhere nice? Like, like, do, did he leave before or after everyone here got murdered, killed by whatever the fuck is killing things? Well, I mean, I think it. Okay, those, look at how fresh yeah, the corpses are. Those, the corpses they look like fresh. they just those, died from that, some kind that, of cancer. That corpse is a couple yeah, weeks they're, they're, old. This, they're not. I um, counterpoint the cold. It it, it is exceptionally uh, cold. Is it, it, is even it, in the house, been, it's cold. Has it been blizzards uh, for like? I still, I still think. Saying that's like more than a month old is uh, really, really. I mean, it. it looks mu I, it looks mummified to me personally. Yeah, it looks it looks like someone with pancreatic cancer. <laughs> you have died of dysentery. But yeah, I'm I'm fairly certain. Now. Listen, if you've never seen a patient with pancreatic cancer, that's basically what they look like. Anyway, I mean, for God's sake, we 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 dug up a um, Otzi. I think it, it was Otzi, the 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 a caveman that was found in the ice, and the fucker still had skin. So I'm I'm looking back on the picture now. Now this granted could be a very old photo, so maybe Torchwick's the little boy. Who knows? 
Because there's two Jackson oh, ones. Oh, you know, that would be it. Although, does the little boy have distinctly red hair? Well, they're both ginger. I I'm looking at the yes. picture right now. Yes, he does. Uh, they're both ginger. I like the fucking McCree-ass motherfucker who's on, like, the far right side of the screen. He's got, like, a giant-ass yeah. sniper rifle. It looks great. Um, I think the boy has blue eyes. Is that right? I can't tell. Oh, yeah, the, this this picture is all washed yeah. out. Yeah, um, I, I think the boy has blue eyes. I think the man has either dark eyes or green. Torchwick and Neo actually met. Because there is a girl in this photo with very who is very small. True. I'm not, I mean, does, her, I'm not does saying she that, have like, she's Neo. The good old-fashioned heterochromia? I don't know. She looks like a normal girl exactly. today. I can't tell what any other eye colors like, are. Yeah, I can't tell either. But, like, point being is that if they yeah. are going to go down this road, seeing how Torchwick and Neo met, it it wouldn't be a relevant thing, because, well, fuck, Torchwick is apparently dead. But, um, mm -hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, it, it would be relevant to shaping Neo's character. Yes. So, basically, it would be, like, this would be a build-up vol build volume for Neo entering the fold in her own way. Hopefully, oh, okay. in my idea, as her own faction that just fucks with everyone else over There's and over. A zoom up shot. Hang on, I'm gonna zoom enhance. I have to go back a few frames. Yeah, I, I was looking at it too. Uh, so I, I was looking minutes. at the boy's eyes, and it just. Yeah, I, I know. I, I've got it. I've got it. The the boy's eye is too washed out. I the the the, the dad's eyes are darker, yeah. so they might be green, but the boy's eyes I think are very very clearly blue. They match his mother's <laughs> eyes. So who, what, what, I mean, I'll have to go and Google it. What, what color eyes were Torchwicks? Green. He had green eyes. Yeah, they're green. I know for a fact because I had to get green contacts for, um, yeah, for, uh, 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 the costume. And, uh, those are a bitch and a half to put in. So. Oh, God, I wouldn't put in contacts. So, from what I'm gathering, the Amish exist in this show. Well, they're just yeah, fine. The Amish. Like, they're not this Amish. giant. <laughs> God. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's the vibe I'm getting looking at this picture. Yeah, maybe like I don't know, dust is expensive and they don't power the generator all the time. I, I want to know more about this cutie on the left here, the 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 the, the, the high necked short sleeve. Yeah, yeah, third from the left. <laughs> <laughs> that's a motherfucker. Second from the left, you Ooh. bastard. <laughs> oh god. She's uh, the immediate left in the, in the cropped version in the close up, the the, the uh, farthest left. She she's a cutie. She's probably dead. Oh yeah, she. Well, I mean, they're all, they're all everyone, they're all everyone, everyone dead. who is still on the farm apparently or sleeping. They're all dead. Like yeah, they, and I was gonna say. Yeah, let, let's take a second to to appreciate the amount of training Weiss had to go through in order to light the room with such precision that she threw fire around this wooden-ass room and only hit the candle wicks. That's yeah, is that her Yeah, that seemed, to, that? that seemed awfully convenient. It's... Because she didn't use any glyphs or anything. It was just <clears throat> fire, and it's in the candles. Uh, it, she has secret maiden powers, guys. It sounds... Yeah, but, I mean, God, as a D&D like player, that looked like a cantrip. It just burned. looked like a very small magical effect, you know? Or dust effect. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's literally just casting yes, light. Like, okay, you know. now place is lit up. Uh, the, Have the... you ever done that before, though? No. She's done... She's done weird... Like, it's it's not a stretch of the... Like, oh my god, this breaks the lore of the show kind of deal. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, yeah, I don't think it's super extreme. It's not something we need super in detail to us. Um, that said... Um, I, I, I do like the implied amount of child murder that went on in this episode. Yeah. Um, that That's... That easy. I will have to commend them because, like, after so many volumes of not showing us actual threat, danger, and you know, actual death, yeah, like we are now <laughs> seeing death on a pretty significant scale, and it feels like it fits. So I had to give massive kudos to Miles and Carrie for actually writing that stuff into the well, show. Here's the thing, like, like that's how the scene played good. out was really nice as well, in the sense that when you you have Weiss and Ruby just talking, and you hear a uh, an almost cartoonish scream, like, ah, as if um, Weiss had found, like, a rat in the corner or something and she was afraid of mice. Y you know, that <laughs> kind of thing where you know, they're exploring yeah. the house, someone screams, and it turns out to be nothing. 
So that then this was yeah. a nice bait and switch is that we go, okay, what did she fall? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yeah. They're actually like, dead bodies there was lying like, around. It was a pretty nice oh, fuck movement. It was the zombies from Legend of Zelda. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I'm actually, I'm watching a, um, a random, I guess one of my, one of the favorite Let's Players doing a randomizer of it. And uh, he randomized a lot of the sounds in the game. So, like, the music is all randomized, mm. and Navi's sounds are randomized. Guess what Navi's default sound is oh, now? No. It's the redead scream. Oh, that's terrible. So, well, every, that's time, every time Navi would say, hey, listen, instead it's... <laughs> <laughs> so, the old lady still don't know what her fucking yeah, deal is. Yeah, we need is. to get to this old uh, woman. Yeah, what, what is this bitch? We feel like... We, Blake? What is this bitch and what does she do? She's... Like, she, she's talking like she has mm. some high importance, but to the rest of them, they haven't gone above. She's just an old lady. She's just old. Does uh, she shoot she laser talks, beams? Can she shoot she laser beams? She talks like she matters. Maybe. But we haven't seen that bit yet. It's strange. You know, I, I wish yeah. they would just... If if they're gonna do what, what she said she'd do, she's gonna, like, read them a story. Maybe it's the stories about her. Like, she we get... A snippet of her character through yeah. story time, which would be nice. <laughs> so there was are we, once an old woman. Are, are, are we going to get a? Uh, <laughs> there was there was once an old woman who, who was trapped with a bunch of idiots in the winter. Who lived in a shoe. No, but like, okay. So we're gonna get like a. You'll be really fucking cool. What? A chase sequence between the Grim that's trapped in the basement down there. Because so, we know it's so a Grim, what's, what's right? What's down there? It, op and it opened them the door on and Bumblebee then it and that. That rack. It opened the door and then it closed it. So what's what's going on in the basement? It's an intelligent. Yeah, it actually, uh, something very big. And uh, is it a grim? Is it people. a person who's hiding down there? It opened it enough that it could actually get at the fucking chains. It opened it enough. Like saw that there were people and then closed it. Wouldn't a grim's natural response to be like, uh, you know, just like, I mean. What was that thing in the opening? Wouldn't it uh, be that? Remember, back in Volume 2, oh, yeah. what Port said, the older a Grimm gets, the wiser it gets. And very often they avoid humanity because they know that yeah, like brings the more yeah, humans. you're right, you're right. They're, they're, they're sort of, so the idea that this Grimm is biding its time doing something, or it has, like I suggested, a passive effect that just drains on the people around it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so so why would they keep it in their cellar instead of just killing it well it, it got them but somebody had to have been alive long enough to lock it back in well, there. What I, well here's here's my running theory because you maybe it, maybe it locked itself back in there because it can easily get at that chain if it opens the door just yeah a yeah bit yeah more. it could, could have fooled people that kind of thing <laughs> um uh. the the what we could have done with this or what we, uh, what could have what, sorry one theory, one possible theory that I, I've been running through is they did lock it up. They, they they actually fought this thing off and they locked it up. However, it has the passive effect going and no one in the town realized it. And everyone just slowly succumbed to this sleeping illness uh, that, that it produces. And so it basically it kept feeding on them and no one realized it. And no one could kill it because no one was trained to kill it. Although, honestly, I would just, like, slip a couple you of sticks of dynamite down there and hope prime. for the best. Yeah. Um, so, like, that's a possibility. You guys say that the corpses look fresh. <laughs> However, that doesn't necessarily mean that they are, um... They have to be fresh. Because if it is, like, again, going with the passive effect thing, it could be that's preserving them. For whatever reason. I'm it's just... My question would be, wh why, why on earth would someone capture a Grim and not kill it? Yeah, hey, that's what Maybe I'm saying. Like, like, why, why not like, just kill the damn thing? I mean, like, we're this Did, is all, this okay, is all okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, you know. But like, it's totally possible uh, that there's just a Grim with the power to just regenerate. But oh, wait, what if it? Okay, so in the commentary, right? In the commentary, Volume 5. Mm. Miles and Carrie, they were like, back in Volume 1, Corsic and Fennec were going to go to Roman Torchwick to buy Liquid Grim. That's the word Wait, they whoa, used. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back Liquid in, back in Grim. Five. five. But, the but commentary. Torchwick was the, dead. The, 
what? The, no, no, the commentary for Volume yeah. 5. They said, in Volume 1, Corsic oh. and Fennec were going to Torchwick to buy Liquid Grim. Is that a thing? So do you think they keep... This is like that? It's This bl- Grim that they have kept hidden in the in the cellar, they are like well, milking for well, Liquid I'm, Grim I'm that they were selling? Possibly, but I thought... Purpose? Like, what did these Grim do? I, I thought the idea... Did they got just kill car- things? I thought the idea got carried over into Ruby Grim Eclipse where Dr. Merlot was doing his experiments. I thought that was the idea. I don't give a shit. I'm fairly certain that... <laughs> no, that's really apparently canon. It's a pretty good... Is there a, is there a port and a Merlot, has... and are they related? I, I never finished the story of Grim Eclipse. I've only played the first three chapters. So, so wait, these, these Grim thing, they are they just... What are they? They kill a machine? Oh, machines? wait, like... yeah. They do milk the Grim for alcohol, <laughs> and Crow is going to drink it, and that's why he dies in the intro. Yeah. <laughs> Because like if it oh. doesn't do anything, then why keep it alive? I'm just I'm just all masking. November, uh, well, no, Grim, November they, they... is nearly November is nearly over, if I may. November is nearly over, and as you guys have known for the month of November, I have been going through no not November as any true man should, and it has given what me psychic fuck ability. Does this have to do with my question. Allow me to answer. It gives me psychic <laughs> ability to predict the future of Ruby. It's very specific, but you know what? It's worth it sometimes. Um, it's been a hundred percent right so far, so I'm fairly certain. With my last ounce of power, that Crow is going to die. This volume. Uh, you're cutting out like a motherfucker. You're cutting out. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Fuck well, I, I, I heard what you said. I uh, think we'll so die. Maybe I think out Crow's less gonna, yeah, a bird will die. die. A bird's going to die. Yeah. Birdie, no. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. But, y'all, y- y- I, y- I'm not going to try and disprove yours. I- I'm just saying that, like, I'm not getting the feeling, I, although this could partially be in fact that they pl- tried to play up his death flags in volume four so fucking hard, apparently unintentionally. Um, How do you unintentionally put up death flags? Ask them, because apparently they didn't mean to put up so many death flags in, in volume five either. You either intend to kill the character <laughs> off or you don't. Yeah, well, I think they, they, they might have been trying to foreshadow it, but they ended up just, like, full death flagging it. What did these writers do before this show? Not much. Shit in Not their hats. Much. And they let them run the whole damn thing. All right. I sure did. I've been wondering that myself. <laughs> I have more qualifications than they did, and I, I, I didn't get hired. Lord, so. Lord knows Tom is writing all day... 30,000 different fucking projects he's got going. He could probably have done this, bitch. Oh, uh, but... But... They're getting better now. This... I I, I think this episode has been incredibly... Has been pretty good. By this point in Volume 5, I think we were finally hitting the drag shoot, and... And it, we were really starting to feel the wear by 5. It, 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 would that be an exaggeration, Fat Man? You're the one that has more in-depth knowledge of it. By episode five of volume uh, of uh, volume five, were we kind of feeling the drag already? I mean, I wait. Like, in in what way? Like, repeat the question. You know how we we fucking hated the inside of that house by the end of volume five. That feeling, I, yeah. That feeling. But I hated the inside of that house uh, the first time I saw it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But like, I mean, like, I there wasn't it wasn't really like a like a slow deterioration of how I felt about the house. I just I'm like, the more we see this house, the more I want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, that I think this volume is doing things leagues in a way better. Yeah, now we're putting oh, them in a farm yeah, yeah, instead of a house. I, yeah, it's a farm now. Ooh, Honestly, well, I, I mean, I, I'm, I probably th- place this episode as the second best in this volume so far. Anyone else there with me? What if the dead bodies? Um, we've got actual stakes. We, we have dead bodies. We have biting cold. We have an escape. <laughs> <room>. <laughs> uh, what if the roof? The dead bodies symbolize the Ruby fans after Volume Five for being in a fucking house. And now we also have Neo back. We had an awesome fight. I mean, I I think overall this volume has been proving itself really damn good in fact that fight with neo was, was really almost good. monty level that was almost monty level i'd argue it was on par 
Like I'm, I, I was, like, I was scrubbing through like the, the the frames of the fight. Neo, as a character, is really really good for encouraging creative martial arts and fight scenes because her fighting style is very creative. It's about you know using the umbrella to parry and block and move around the opponent. Well, she is the one. Yeah. So I mean, I just I love those moments where like like three or four times throughout the fight, she just popped open the umbrella to change her m momentum completely. Yeah. Like, uh, I'll be right back. Okay. Well, we're gonna wrap up. Let me think. Cause we're we're really kind of nearing the end of this. I don't think there's much else to this. There's not. Much yeah. To I mean, you you lot you lot spent a good amount of time talking about a character that, from what the sounds of it, has been dead for quite a while. So that was a big part of your discussion. Um. You haven't really talked much about the four girls, who I'm quite disappointed were not fucking each other the entire time. I, okay, we're getting there, alright? That's why it's called coming soon. It doesn't mean coming now. Right, right, of so what does, Okay, um, so let's, but, let's talk, actually. What does the title refer to? Does it mean that, like, conflict is coming soon? Yeah, what was the title? Yeah, that's an interesting thing. Well, what what, does, what is, is the coming, title's deal? Uh, like, I, know, I know the titles in Ruby are about... That's like coming soon to your local theatre or whatever. Coming soon. Yeah, no, I, I'm trying to think soon. it over because... The Grim because in the Basement? Because with this is... The Grim in the Basement, possibly. Food, coming soon. Mm, Ruby, um, Ruby and Neo. Uh, Ruby and Neo? Uh, fucking Cinder and Neo. Yeah. Death coming soon. <laughs> that could be one. I mean, no, seriously, because, like, like that... Yeah. I mean, not, if you're going on Death Flag, showing dead corp... You know, showing actual... Ro wasting away corpses is a pretty good This place is move. deadly and should not be trifled with. If anything, I wouldn't even stay. Like, I just braved the blizzard. It's like, fuck that. I'd rather take my chances. Yeah, I, I'd just be like, fuck it. You know, we'll, I'm going to go outside. I'm going to cut... Uh, have Ruby cut down some trees, build yourselves an impromptu tent, and you'll be good Make to go. an igloo. Why don't they have t why don't they have tents? Why don't they have coats? Why don't they well, have I mean, pads? To be fair, they, they uh, someone explained that to take well, not explained. Oh, it was a Dan Kaito Dan was defending that by saying, you know, maybe they were expecting to buy them when they got to Argus. Well, I mean, they expected. They why weren't Argus. they wearing pads initially? Because well, they were taking the train. Um, because it was warm in Mistral. Yeah, they were taking they the train from and when one they spot to the made, other. He made he made the, the logical argument is. Even during, you know, they were riding the train, they are probably going to change something warmer when they got to Argus. But even if they had the clothing, they wouldn't change into it out in the cold. Now they're it's inside, really... they're still setting things up. They might change into something warmer. Hopefully they will. If not, then they were hoping to buy shit in Argus. He made some good See, arguments, although... Maybe, I still... I'm, maybe it's just me, somebody who wears pants, you know, every day of my life, but... They seem to be more combat effective than skirts. Combat skirts. It's a combat skirt. So it's a kilt? <laughs> I, sure. Okay, that was a good one. Technically speaking, it's a frock, but I mean, we'll, 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 just, we'll just skim past that. Um, Bia, I Dumb think... Bitches. I think overall that, that this is... A solid episode. We got character dynamic. We got characters actually expressing. Yeah, the, I mean the, the the blonde and the black one talking was probably my favorite little small moment right there. And then we've got um, Ruby and Weiss, dis you know, discussing things, and Weiss just being like, "Hey, you know, we kind of learned that everything was sort of a lie. Do we really need to go back to the place where I have an abusive family?" That would make sense. Oh, they're taking she's... her back to an abusive family? No, uh, no they're going back the plan, in storm. Yeah, the plan was originally to use her as bait if I was right. But, um, I feel like... Uh, there was something weird about that scene, actually, that kind of bothered me. Like, Ruby's defense or Ruby's rebuttal to Weiss not feeling good was, well, my uncle probably feels worse. So, so cheer up. Well, I, I, I think that's... That was a little weird. I think the problem is that Ruby is not being quite as warm to Weiss... Which is one thing, it's either, okay, it could be one of two things. If my theory about the Grim having that weird aura thing going on is true, then I can rack it up to that's affecting be, her mood honestly, and making her not think straight. Honestly, I be, However, I if it's not, if it's not that, then it's Ruby not being written I've... properly. Because I think she'd be much more empathetic to Weiss. And I, I think what that was supposed to come off as was... I think this is affecting everyone, but it came off more self-serving with just her uncle. A little. I think I prefer the latter, actually. I, I wouldn't want this character growth we're seeing with Black with Ye 
I messed that up twice. With Yang and Blake, not Yike and Blang, um, to to be huh? denied just by oh we weren't actually feeling right. It was just the grim in the local area. It's well, no. The idea the idea is that at least the way it's running to my head is that this is a grim that exacerbates depression, uh, which is feelings. a very which it exacerbates Fat Man, depression. Fat Man made a good call evolutionary wise. That makes amazing sense. Yeah, yeah, it does. It really does. So, like, the idea of it, like, Ruby is currently depressed that everyone else is depressed. Weiss is depressed about having to go back to Atlas. Uh, Yang is depressed and traumatized because, by Adam. Well, that and she doesn't it's... want Blake to feel like that she needs protecting, like, some kind of child. Yeah, yeah, and that that definitely got exacerbated. Uh, there. I don't think the Grim is a giant robot there, floof person. Well, that's context regarding to. I'm, the, I'm reading. The I'm chat. reading in his his yeah, thing. Yeah, but the yeah, audience doesn't Grimm see. Grim is Neon Genesis Evangelion. Yeah, I read it for you. Yay! Let's see. She's a boy. Yes. But so that that the idea of that is, I would actually be okay with that if that was the reason why like everyone is suddenly acting weird, and of course you know. Uh, 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 um, Crow doesn't seem so uppity, but then again, he has a lot on his mind. Um, Oscar definitely not comfortable in his own skin anymore. There's a lot of good dynamics going on here. I like, they, like, I hope they continue as to opposed capitalize. to last volume. When you look at last volume, where everyone was just sitting in a house and talking, now everyone has actual personal stakes in what's going on, and they're all genuinely like seem to be in conflict with each other, at least passively. So it's 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 good writing. There's good writing going on here, and it's. Ah, oh, it's so nice. This is nice. This is nice. It was, yeah, but you it know, was a, it was as, as the smartest, the smartest man in the universe, Fat Man, say nothing if you agree with me. Well, that sells it. I'm just a genius. <laughs> yep. Uh, so I don't think. All right. Else well, to say. I don't really think there is, but I don't know if I can. I can log off without Fat Man. Um. Yep. Uh, yeah. Hey, hey, Don! Um, do you want to get get back Tom to see if he would like to watch the episode? Ah, uh, fucking hell! All Just right, tell me he's I'm gonna have to watch it anyway. Eventually. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess I can get up. Oh, Jesus! Ugh. Jesus ain't got nothing to do with that, buddy. Yeah, I'll be right back. I'll drag his ass. Ah, uh, we have fun here. We certainly do. I could have been working. But nope. I have to sit here. Watch Ruby. To be fair, this was a good episode. Yeah, yeah it's just worth watching. Like, like honestly. And um, to answer the floof, I don't think those kids are, are Roman and Neo. I think the kid is Roman. I, I don't think he's Ro I don't think the kid is Roman. I think the, 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 the adult, the, the, the man is Roman. The, 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 the father and I think Roman's story is that he lost his family hmm. um, to something. Oh, you know. Ow, 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 watch the... Oh, hey, it's... You didn't have to drag me by the hair, you asshole. Ugh. I am honestly interested I... to see how you do so... that on camera. <clears throat> okay, so I was actually watching it on my phone. Oh. So, uh, I'm all set. Um, okay, I have a point. Uh, Little Miss Malachite said it was a few weeks... Since they got oh, on the train, yeah, once that's... again, yeah. what's the timeline? I said that when the episode was going on. No, yeah, I I did too, but, but at the same time, how like like there was a there was a dark cut between uh uh, uh her going to Little Miss. There was you know an entire episode break effectively between Little Miss her meeting Little yeah. Miss and then her going back to Little Miss. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. It's possible that she's just been kind of bumming around waiting for the information to accrue. Yeah, she's been well, they were Okay, but what about what about the what about our girls? Well, that's in the future. Like here's the yeah. thing. Wait, so big... so this is a time hop is is that what we're supposed I mean, to get here? Yeah, it's, it's I think they're doing big... the same thing with Blake. Uh, they, 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 remember how they did it with Blake where they staggered my, it? My like question that? is does it, it it doesn't matter yet. Not really. Like, um, yeah. the timeline of events, like, a big problem with Volume 5 is that they tried to make time go past and have everything happen canonically, same with Volume 4, so they'd be jumping around a lot just to keep up with the chronological series of events, and that just was boring, because the pacing was shit. This, time is a bit loosey-goosey around here, we're hopping back to what they're doing, 
and it could well be that it's a couple weeks in the past, a couple weeks in the future, who knows. Um, okay. So, so it's certainly theoretically, the of the show. Yeah, yeah, it, it, I do, I do like it a little bit. Theoretically, though, we by the time this conversation between Cinder and and Lucy Christian is happening, uh, Ruby and the crew may have already been eaten by whatever the fuck is in the basement. Maybe. Yeah, wouldn't that just be a twist? Theoretically, wouldn't that just be a twist? Like, like Cinder That'd finally tracks twist. them down yes. and is like, "We've come to kill you." Oh, you're dead. All right. Do you guys want to repeat every word you said while I was away to give Raven more uh, watch well, time? Well, I'm no. back first of all because Dom's an asshole and pulled me by my hair and threw me back in here. Okay, um, that's. Good. I was just. But I let. But for, for the record, I was quite impressed by this episode. Yeah, uh, I um I I I would just reiterate. I don't think the kids are are Roman and Neo. I think it's just the 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 adult. I think. It's possible that whatever they have chained up in there, because that looks like that was built for whatever they chained well, no, up. It looks like a wine cellar, right? Possibly, but we don't we don't know what it because it's heavy metal. Well, it's there's heavy. a wine cellar in a wine cellar. Yeah, that's the oh, thing that weirds point, me out. So I'm yeah. thinking, what wine cellar? I'm thinking that maybe the family kept this Grim around, action? and he was like, "Wait, guys, we can't keep that Grim around." And they're like, "Nah, it's fine." And then it eats his family, and he's like. Fuck you guys! I'm leaving. I can't live here with a grim in the ground. You guys got my family killed, and so he left, became a criminal underlord, that kind of thing. Well, his um, whole his whole mantra was um, like, uh, "Lie, steal, cheat, and survive." Right? Yeah, but oh, we're talking about torture. But that okay. was I'm like really fucking long confused. Like, after this apparent this could have happened. We don't know. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. If it's a wine cellar, it could be a. This might be like some kind of built just like. I mean, obviously, it's built to keep this thing in, but initially, maybe it could have been like one of those weather bunkers or something. It could have been, yeah. It, or like a bunker for like, like a. I guess there wouldn't be any radioactive. It reminds me of the bunker from Delta Room. This world, but done. Whatever. Yeah, that is, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end the, of the, the Delta Room, there's uh, just this two iron doors that are in the ground, and it's kind of mysterious. To what no one, do. no one idea has any idea what they are. Yeah. Okay, I'll I'll say this. Um. The, the the Yang Blake scene, uh, that was probably the best possible outcome for that particular moment. Yeah. And I approve. Uh, yeah. Because it, it, because it addresses that the issue's still there. We're not solving it now. And it's it, it's yeah no I two thumbs up how that how that bit was Yang written. is okay. starting I'm to get genuinely that. annoyed with Blake for protecting her or coddling yes. her should be the better word. But um, yeah, I think it's yeah. even smarter to think that Yang understands the situation. It's like, you know what? I don't need to blow off, you know, fuck, blow up right now. So I'm just going to be a sensible one yeah. and rise above and say, hey, stop that shit. I'm going to go outside. Yeah, the blowing off thing is for later. Um, the, um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think the Blake doesn't you know I, I think the reason that weiss is mad at blake is because blake thinks she can make it okay yeah 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 like blake hasn't learned anything from Not really. there yeah it, 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 it wasn't that had the thing like her arc has meant it, it really comes back to to okay I'm, I'm going to guess this is completely completely unintentional in some way because remember what they said back in volume five that blake in the commentary, they said that Blake was the most mature character. <laughs> which the, is a lie. Which is the, she is the opposite. She is the least mature character in the entire show. Uh, yes. She lives. She lives in, in the Tumblr fan fiction arena, and that's where she stays. It's like she doesn't break out of that and actually explore actual emotional depth with other human beings. It's. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. it's really fun to see that finally playing off. But I think we're running a little long in the tooth here. My editing is going to to kick ass closing uh, thoughts quickly okay uh 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 neo's back eh fight with neo and cinder pretty cool uh lomas malachite do something uh marina fucking do something uh bodies are cool uh, uh monster uh, hopefully is i think it's that shadow thing from the from the uh op probably probably i think it's gotta be the um, shadow thing from the OP was Salem's weird hands that grabbed. Yeah, well, the there's hazel. also those eyes. Like there were I, those weird I, fucking eye things. Yeah. Uh, okay, Britt, final thoughts. Uh, my best girl is back. Uh, interesting stuff is actually happening with Cinder. You know, p potential ways for her to grow as a character. Fun things. 
um, intriguing stuff with the farm. Like, they, they didn't tip too much of their hand where it's like, oh, it's obviously X. There's some actual mystery going on. That's interesting, and I'm actually excited to see what the fuck is in that basement. Yeah, it's, 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 we're playing up the horror, man. It's I like Attack on Titan now. Fat Man, final thoughts. <laughs> Attack on Titan wasn't really horror. I man. am super glad that uh, uh, Weiss... No, fuck. I am super glad that Yang told Blake to f fuck off. That is like... That's like the thing I was worried about this volume, and they didn't fuck it up. Yeah. Thumbs up, they, Miles and Gary. Yeah, up like yet, I said, that was yes. that was the best possible yeah. outcome for that scene. That was really good. Floof, final thoughts. Um, I need to think about it a bit more, but I thought it was okay. Alrighty, yeah. alrighty. I, I can't wait to change my opinion and have uh, yeah. everyone hate me for it. I <laughs> thought it was. Gr I, I thought this episode was great. Uh, I don't think I'm going to change my opinion. I was really. Well, I was a lot of good character dynamic that, going so. on. A lot of good setup for yeah. the future. You got Neo back mm -hmm. in the picture. I'm excited. Eh. And uh, as always. Corpses make it better. Thank you all very yeah. much for watching. Catch you all on the flip side. Bye-bye. Stop yeah. giving me the finger, you Irish bastard. Now break off into 40 more minutes of Dom.